Hey guys, so for a number of reasons I didn't film anything and disappeared from social media for pretty much five months. This is my attempt to get back to vlogging and sharing what's going on because what has been going on was making me really happy, really grateful and that inspired me to get back to everything again. Long story uh, short, I don't live in Amsterdam anymore, I live somewhere else <laughs> but in a different country and um, right now I actually am getting ready for my flight to Amsterdam because I am going to if them as a hackathon participant also on behalf of my company and i want to show how i'm preparing uh, what needs to happen and wanna take you along on this journey this is my modest selection of items that i need to take to hackathon i'm taking some clothes vacuum sealed very useful uh, cosmetics bag this is the hoodie that i have to wear uh, during the hackathon it's merchandise from the company where i work now so name is a uh, privacy blockchain and that's the company that i joined three months ago i have the noise cancelling headphones portuguese handmade jewelry as presents my kindle book remarkable with a bunch of random stickers from conferences and i have a bunch of cards for Amsterdam because well I used to live there of course so this is my personalized train card which is still valid I guess I have the coffee company credits because when I left when I bought this I had no idea I wouldn't live in Amsterdam anymore but now I can use it when I'm there and I have my student card which is surprisingly still valid until August this year uh, even though I graduated two years ago might use it to try and sneak into the library because I don't know where to where to work I would have to work in a cafe otherwise if they don't let me to the library so the situation is that I need to leave for the plane in like uh, two or three hours I think and I still have a full working day going on uh, my boyfriend is going with me because he's participating in the same conference and he's also a hackathon participant so once I'm finished with the work related stuff I will be also packing in my laptop and then all the chargers and then we go. My thoughts on coming back to Amsterdam are a bit disturbing I would say because I pretty much left in a hurry and there is a whole different story of why I had to leave and how it happened and I feel a bit not ready to get back to the city. Feeling unprepared but at the same time wanting it a lot and then having to live the life here that I've already managed to build up in this time. I am already in Amsterdam for more than 24 hours. I'm staying at the lovely house of my friends in the city center. It is a Friday today and this is also the first day of Eve Dam. And today in the afternoon I have the hacker speed dating events where I'm supposed to meet others to complete my team. Uh, right now I'm only with my boyfriend together. I will be heading there in the afternoon. Now I need to still finish up some work and i was thinking of either staying working up here or i thought it would be very cute to go and work in the cafe where i used to work like where i used to study as a student next to my university i am 
crazy tired and I haven't been sleeping well because uh, these days have been very busy with the late night flight and uh, this morning we thought it was like the greatest idea to go for a 7 a.m. workout before all of this starts otherwise I would be skipping workouts which I really like I don't know what to say besides the fact that I missed Amsterdam a lot I'm happy to be here I'm really happy to reconnect with my friends it's so welcoming to be here in May with such a great weather and such a peaceful streets and I just can't believe that I've been living here for five and a half years and uh, I am feeling unprepared for the hackathon I don't like competitions, but I really like learning something, meeting ambitious people who are doing interesting things in their life. I'm gonna be doing my best and I think this is gonna be a really, really great weekend, not only because of the event, but also because this city means a lot to me. <music> to another friends of ours. Today is the first official day of the hackathon. I still feel quite tired, but uh, we're not gonna go. I think we are late <laughs> already. My boyfriend is gonna speak today and we'll just start and see how it goes. Are you ready for the hackathon? Of course I am. Are you ready? already back home so the event finished a couple days ago and I wanted to comment on what was it all about because I was looking over the video footage and I think it's not quite clear. Once again a big change in my life is that I have now a new job. I work as a data engineer at a privacy startup and I have also recently moved out of the Netherlands. However last weekend I was participating in If Them which was a conference in Amsterdam dedicated to privacy, blockchain, crypto professionals and enthusiasts. I went there on behalf of the startup where I currently work and also partially I went independently because I was participating in a hackathon there. It was my first hackathon so of course it didn't go all that well. About the hackathon, the task is usually to create an MVP for a business case that solves a problem in the industry and in our case it would be decentralized finance and privacy. The idea is that you have to find some team members and you 
work on this case together. You can do it either in advance or there was also an option to do a hacker speed dating event. Once you start working on that, you have approximately 48 hours to submit your project, inclusive the night hours, which some people really like to use. It is quite competitive and if you would like to win, you should have really good technology ready and you should be integrating it on top of the sponsoring projects, sponsoring companies or startups. Usually the best teams are the ones who have done hackathons previously and they have like the most talented software engineers and also speakers because afterwards you get a chance to present your project. In my case, I work with my boyfriend. For him, it was also the first hackathon experience and we came up with something called the Lighthouse Protocol. It is a tool that you can use on top of other DeFi applications and that would give you a warning for potentially fraudulent transactions. So we took some time to work on that, but overall we were quite overwhelmed because this event was quite dynamic and we had a late night flight and a lot of people that we had to meet and reconnect with in Amsterdam. Overall, I'm not super happy about my performance during Hackathon, but it was a still very valuable and interesting experience to be a part of the conference, to meet new people. And I feel very similar to how I would feel after this first Kaggle competition that I did back when I worked at the Dutch bank. It's very good to explore your own interest, to understand what is it that you really like and what is it that you really don't like about your career, about the direction of where it's going. You can find new interesting things that you maybe never heard of before. And of course, you get to meet a lot of people with very interesting stories. I'm always saying that even if you are a beginner in the field, you should for sure sign up to conferences, hackathons and competitions because it helps a lot to understand your own niche or to find your own niche. And once you start doing these events, you will see that like 80% of people are the ones kind of looking for themselves in their career, searching out for new opportunities, for new knowledge, and maybe the other 20% or less are the real industry experts who are there to guide, inspire, and share some insight. On the second day, we submitted what we had, but otherwise my boyfriend participated in a panel discussion, and I also listened to a couple of talks of the industry professionals, inclusive my CEO and my other colleague who was participating in another panel discussion. I met him in person for the first time, met other people, and I also spent the quality time with my good friends in Amsterdam before getting back to my new adventurous lifestyle. So I think there is one open question left, and that is where do I currently live? I moved to the most beautiful country that I have seen in my life, and that is Portugal. I visited Portugal for the first time in 2021, and since then I got very excited about the potential opportunity to move here, and I was kind of from time to time thinking what I can do in terms of my employment, how can I organize job because it was like a biggest concern for me. So once that was settled, I made the decision to leave together with my little family. My new lifestyle here includes coding during the day and I go to dance classes in the evening and then in the weekend I'm spending here in nature. To be honest, it took me some time to process this change and I was rethinking a lot the idea of sharing my personal life in the internet space. However, I got a lot of support from people lately who got inspired with my experience and I realized that I should get back to it because that was my original reason and original motivation to share what I'm going through. So I'm back here and I will be sharing more videos over the next weeks. And if you want to connect with me personally, you can send me a message on LinkedIn or follow me on Medium or 
telegram channel that i literally created today so thank you for watching and i see you soon